Hey friends, welcome back to a new weekly vlog. If you are new here, my name is Shakela. I create and share delicious vegan recipes. If you're returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here. This week's vlog is all about what I ate during my time in Chicago. We went to Chicago for about a week for my husband's birthday and had the most amazing time. I'm bringing y'all along with me, so I hope you enjoy. So for our time in Chicago, I actually created an entire itinerary from what we're going to do to where we're going to eat. But of course, the most important part was what we were going to eat. So our first stop was to the 88 Marketplace, which is near the Chinatown in Chicago. So we just walked around the marketplace, which is essentially a grocery store, but then they also have restaurants inside. For lunch this day, we ate at the Hot Pot, which was on the lower level, and it was so good, y'all. So I've never been to a Hot Pot restaurant, and if you haven't either this comes from the Chinese culture and you essentially cook all of your ingredients in a well-seasoned broth I don't know if I want to do the bean curd roll bean curd stick frozen tofu tofu ooh, tofu puffs might be good ooh, so we got to choose what type of ingredients we wanted to cook up. Of course, I had a ton of mushrooms and tofu and vegetables, but we also got to come up with our own sauces. They had a sauce bar where you can combine different ingredients to come up with the perfect sauce for whatever it is that you're about to cook. And the dividers that they had here really helped prevent cross-contamination from my food, my husband's food. So I ended up ordering some tofu as well as the mushroom spread. The mushrooms that it came with, they came with shiitake mushrooms, enoki mushrooms, those wood ear mushrooms, which I had honestly never heard of before. But they're apparently supposed to be really good for you. I was excited to try them. There was also, they sliced some king oyster mushrooms. Y'all, this is so cool. Like, I've never done anything like this before. This is so nice. It's like starting to bubble. I mean, this cooking. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're about to grab some tea. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> All right, so by now y'all know three things about me and Brandon. One, that we're married. Two, that we're very competitive. And three, we love mini golf. So that's why we had to stop by Big Mini Putt Club this week because it's just what we do. Oh, it's right there. Now your turn. <laughs> you said Tiger who? <laughs> Tiger who? Cut the camera. Three years, that was it. He's doing this for like six months. Y'all, so it's the same day. We're still out and about. But of course, okay, so we just started playing. What you wanna say, man? We're we're one hole in. <laughs> she about to talk. We're one hole in. I mean, mess. Bleep that out. Bleep that out. You got a okay. family channel. I'm up one. I'm up on one already. And I think this is a one good. Hole. This is a good indicator of how the week. I mean, how this game is gonna go. Y'all know I'm a winner. This is her second shot. <laughs> She's clearly shooting from the same spot. Oh, oh. Oh, that's probably money. That's probably the one. Oh. <laughs> okay. So what's Cut going the camera. on? Cut the camera. Yes. 
All right, we're going to count yours up first, and then we're going to count no, up mine. No, just right. come on. Two, six, seven, eight, nine, 13, 21, 22, 23, okay, 27, 32. Oh, gosh. I'm scared. 32. That's respectable. I'm don't, Three, don't respect six, me. Nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 21, 22, 23, 20. All right, gotta, nine. Go. gotta go. Gotta go, y'all. Bye. Gotta blast. Bye, bye y'all. I feel, I feel, I feel. So this day was Brandon's actual birthday, and I don't think I mentioned where we stayed. So we stayed at Hotel EMC Squared. I believe it was near the Magnificent Mile, but we got room service delivered. So we had a big spread of breakfast food. For me, I actually ate their avocado toast. I also had the Beyond Meat breakfast sausage and a little bit of the hash browns. This day, we actually, what did we do? We went shopping, we got a massage, which was absolutely amazing. And then for dinner, we went to Nobu. And neither of us have ever been to Nobu. We were really, really excited to give it a try. Um, we enjoyed it because of all the food was really flavorful. So I had my vegan options, he had his non-vegan options. And y'all, when I tell y'all they threw down, like it was, so good, so much flavor. We had an amazing day. So the next day when we woke up, I ordered breakfast from the Impossible Restaurant. I didn't even know that was a thing, but it was really good. So they had a variety of options from lunch, dinner, breakfast, and it was really good. stuff looks so good. I don't know what I want to get, but it's so cute. I really want to get a bunch of stuff, but we're about to order and walk to the Navy Pier, so can't get too much. So the juice turned out to be really good, but they were giving away these free samples of these like vegan cheese balls. I hope they're good. Luckily it was free, but this juice is really good. Have you tried Joyce? How was so it? Good. So good. Mm. This is so delicious. Also, look at my cool new shoes. Brandon got them too. He got them for me. What a great surprise. His and hers. His and hers. So we are heading to dinner now. Day, night. We're about to go to a Japanese barbecue spot. Um, they did have vegan and vegetarian options, so this is gonna be exciting.
Now this was actually our last day in Chicago. So we wanted to walk around and explore as much as we could before it was time for us to leave. And now this trip wasn't solely focused on, hey, Shakayla, find the absolute best vegan finds in the city because it was Brandon's birthday. So I didn't want to make him eat a ton of vegan food. So we tried to, on this trip, we tried to find as many restaurants that were accommodating to both of our diets as possible. But I could not leave Chicago without trying. Can't believe it's not me. Y'all, I have seen this place all over social media and it is black owned. I had to support and I am so glad I did because this was probably some of the best vegan food I've had at a restaurant ever, ever. So I ordered their vegan Philly cheesesteak and Brandon got their burger. <laughs> Clearly we both enjoyed it. This was so good. It was... Listen, if I lived near here, I would probably eat here like once a week or once every other week. It was that good. So if you're ever in the area, I would recommend coming here. Oh, that food was so good. Like it really reminded me of a regular Philly cheesesteak. Chicago has been amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Right? Yes. A lot of fun yes it has been it's been great and before it was time to run and go catch our flight we decided to check out a rooftop bar great vibes great music great drinks it was just a great time all in all chicago was a 10 out of 10 and i can't wait to go back and go to 100 percent vegan restaurants so if you have any recommendations for my next trip, be sure to drop them in the comment section so I can add them to the list. Thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you next week.